Global Q&A Sunday. Decided to get my exercise in this morning. Going for a run walk. I'm trying to get some hit training done this morning. And so far, I'm, a, I'm one mile into what I'm doing. Decided to catch my breath. And I thought to myself, hey, why not do the Q&A Sunday right now? <laughs> you know, you get a moving background. Something very different from what you've seen before. So why not? Let's do it. So, I believe this is week 11. As you can see, my face is actually starting to slim down some. I've lost some more weight. I'm documenting my weight loss throughout this entire thing so that I can create a um, transformation video so you can see. You can see your boy got a haircut. So I ain't got the, um, I ain't got the mullet look going on back here. I'm gonna try to keep that up too. I just work so much, do so many things that sometimes I often forget to get my hair cut, but that's something I'm gonna try doing. Getting my hair cut at least once every other week or or once every week if I can. So how you guys doing? I'm doing all right. <laughs> Trying to get these goals. Where are your goals at? You doing what you're supposed to do? A couple of you working out. Where you at? Why aren't you commenting? I know you're watching the videos, I can see. Where you at? You reaching your goals? Did you lose some weight? You eating better? Checking your blood pressure? Huh? Checking your pH? Where's your pH at? Is it balanced? Acidic? Is it alkaline? Where's that? These are things I need to know. Why? Because we're on this journey together. So tell me. Put in the comments. Tell me where you at. Show me where you at. I want to know where you at because I care. Me? My body is was more on the alkaline side. I mean, sorry, was more on the acidic side when I checked it. All you got to do to check your pH level in your body is literally go to Home Depot, Michael's, um, Lowe's, any science shop, or any hardware store, ask for some litmus paper spit on the litmus paper or put it in your mouth take it out watch the color it changes and track it against the colors on the litmus test and they'll tell you where your body is you want your body to be more on the alkaline side or neutral side instead of being on the um acidic side when it's on the acidic side trust me you don't want that and if you're talking to one of my bros he was telling me that someone was um, doing a lot of um, baking soda. Yeah, to make water alkaline, you can use baking soda. It's actually a good tool to use to alkalinize your water. However, baking soda is extremely high in sodium. It is baking soda. So, You have to test the water that you're drinking first, okay? Then you have to put in baking soda little by little and keep testing the water until you understand where the pH level is. If you want it slightly alkaline, a little bit above 7.5, that's fine. If you want it eight or nine, that's fine. Test it until you know what the right amount is for that particular water, okay? That way you know how much to put for every time. That's one. Two, go to your doctor first. If you have high blood pressure, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do it. You can't do too much of it, I should say. And then if you do do it, you have to watch out your sodium for the rest of the day. You can't add no sodium to anything you're eating. You're not supposed to really add sodium to it anyway, but a lot of people do. So straight up, if you do not see your physician first and you do not know where you stand, you need to not use baking soda in your water. You're going to F yourself up. You're going to pull your blood pressure levels all the way up. And you can get a stroke. It's not a joke. And on top of that, what I saw or heard was that that person was also doing um, apple cider vinegar. Okay. It's supposed to be organic raw apple cider vinegar 
with the mother still attached. Meaning, the mother is what is used to create more vinegar. Okay, if it doesn't have the mother in it, it's just a production of the vinegar that's pasteurized. That does absolutely nothing for you. It just cleans you out slightly, but it doesn't give you the nutrients and benefits that you're looking for. While you do that, the danger of that, vinegar I believe has a um, pH level of about three or four. If you drink that throughout the entire day, you're bringing the acidity, the pH level of your body down to a more acidic level, causing you to have more problems, causing you to be susceptible to more injuries, causing you to be susceptible to more sicknesses and illnesses. Your body's normal pH level is a 7.25. 7.25 to 7.4. Apple cider vinegar has its health benefits. It's true. It's in moderation. That's why they tell you for every 8 ounce of water, you're only supposed to do like a capful, if that much. Or maybe like a teaspoon or something, but you're not supposed to drink hordes of it. Especially, you can't mix the two like that if you're doing it wrong. Use the apple cider vinegar for its benefits. Sure, in moderation. Use the alkaline baking soda in moderation for its benefits. But, if you can't do that, you can't handle it, just go to the store and buy alkaline water. I've been doing that for the past three weeks, and I'm getting results from it. When your body's more alkaline, your skin clears up, your hair becomes a little stronger, your blood is better, your immunity is better, a lot of things become better. And if you want to help the progress of your body become better, you also have to start taking in digestive enzymes, start taking in more probiotics, the right kind. You can't just buy anything because there's so many marketed versions of that product for those products out there that you have to know what you're looking for. You have to read the label and say, okay, what digestive enzymes are good for me? Oh, they're here. Let me get this product. Oh, they're not here. Let me not get this product. Or, you know, same thing with probiotics. You have to know how many to get. 2 billion, 13 billion, 50 billion. You have to know. Why? Because when you swallow those pills, especially the probiotics, a lot of them get dissolved in your stomach acid fluids. A lot of people don't know that. So if you're buying 1.2 billion, a majority of them are dying. And you're probably left over with nothing. It's a waste of time. You want something that's at least 10 billion or more. And you have to make sure you're getting the right digestive enzymes too. Do your research on that. I'm going to do a Life Light series on all this. It's just something that's on my mind. I mean, yeah, this Q&A Sunday is a little different because... I'm going through things that are on my mind. I'm going through things that are on my mind. And I'm realizing that the way I've been going about this whole thing, the way I've been going about trying to lose weight and then being fit is completely false and wrong at the beginning. I'm now realizing it is truly 80 to 90% nutrition and the rest is just fitness and balancing off your body properly so that you have the things that you need like it's incredibly simple to become fit and live a healthy lifestyle you just have to pay attention to what your body needs you have to figure out the right measurements of protein carbohydrates fats it's simple once you know what to look for. And this food pyramid of ours, I'm not even sure if they still teach it in school, but when I was in elementary school, they taught us about the food pyramid. And the food pyramid was designed to teach us when we eat meals, what portions of what to eat, or throughout the day, what portions of what to eat to balance it out. I quickly realized while reviewing that again, 
that it was designed to help us balance our pH. It's very interesting. Look at it again. It's a very interesting thing. So from now on, what you need to do is make sure that your pH is balanced. What you need to do is make sure that you're taking in the right probiotics. What you need to do, make sure you're taking in good digestive enzymes. Make sure your nutrition is good. And what you need to do is make sure that you're working out consistently. You don't have to run if you can't. Like me, when I started out in Nashville, all I did was this. All I did was walk. And because I'm doing the Q&A Sunday with y'all right now, I'm walking. But I've already graduated to HIIT training. I can walk, run, walk, run. Bring my heart rate all the way up, slow it down. Bring it up, slow it down. That's the best way as males to increase your testosterone. Best way as males to increase your metabolism. Look it up. And for me, it's working. It's working. I'm seeing good progress. So for today on my Q&A Sunday, instead of giving you a whole bunch of questions and answers, I'm giving you what's on my mind because it's heavy on my mind. Making sure that I'm balancing my nutrition properly is heavily on my mind. And I felt that information would be more valuable to you than this week me just simply telling you something extra about me. I'm still telling you something about me. I'm telling you that I've been struggling with the proper balance of what to eat, of what to take in. And I'm starting to figure it out and experimenting. And what I'm doing seems to be working. So Alphas, what's going on with y'all? Hmm. One thing I noticed is my subscribership has dropped. I had 694 subscribers. Then it dropped down to like 597 in three or four days. It's because I haven't been posting videos. I know, I know. But you guys knew what I was struggling with. And also you had to know in the background that I was doing what I needed to do to become better. And I'm quick, quickly realizing that for our channel to be successful also, I need to make sure that I'm sticking to my word and becoming fit and being that positive role model that you guys are looking for, that, that you guys see in me. I know you guys see a positive role model or else you wouldn't be watching my channel. I still see the same 19 to 35 views on all my videos, which means the same level of people are still watching my videos. So I thank you all. You know I love you all. As small as we are right now, we're only five months in. Only five months in. There are YouTubers out there that only had 100 to 200 subscribers for two years, you know what I mean, before their channel started to do well. So the plan is consistency. I still drop stuff on the weekends. And the plan is right now to build myself back up to getting back to the four to five videos a week, uh, Monday to Friday. The thing is, I don't wanna keep giving you videos in my car. I don't wanna keep giving you videos that I'm doing on a daily basis while I'm doing the same things. I'm trying to find different things to do so that I can give you better content, but also I'm trying to expand my life a little bit more to venture out and do more things too, to stop being part of the cog in the machine and doing the same process over and over. So this is a good start. Chris and I are gonna start doing more um, adventures. We were supposed to do an adventure today to go out to Hagerstown, well this week, but we decided not to. Why? Because of the rain. It rained all weekend and I'm just now getting a minute to get back. Sorry, I'm just now getting a minute. I was distracted by something. I'm just now getting a minute to be out here to exercise before it pours. Look up, look up there. Do you see those clouds? Look at that. It's about the bus any minute. Any minute. So I'm trying to get in at least three miles this morning. 
so I can, oh, there's a raindrop falling on my head. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get in at least three miles before I go back in and then eat some breakfast and go through my day. So alphas, make sure that you keep believing in what I'm doing. Make sure you keep supporting what I'm doing. Because you all know that I support what you're doing. And you all know that I love you very much. You all know that I'm true, I'm real. I don't lie to you, I'm very honest. And the proof is always in the pudding. The proof is always in the pudding. You see, it's not as bad as it was before. My clothes is fitting a little bit better and I'm starting to fit into other kinds of clothes that I had before. So, the proof is in the pudding. So I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You do what you're supposed to do. So, I love y'all. Keep watching, liking, subscribing. Keep sharing my videos with others so that they can see what we're doing together. Keep taking a look at the Life Demands Results channel. It's in the description. We have four videos out right now. The last video that we did was about energy boosting foods that are natural. Nothing that you have to go to the store and buy pills for. They're natural. Take a look at that. All right. Go ahead and subscribe to that channel, like it too, and support us and what we're trying to do. Because this is not our, my channel. It's not D-Rock's channel. This is our channel. This is our network. This is our lives. So this is Life Riley. I'm going to sign off. Remember to live life. Your life demands results. So what do your results say about you?